are bats really responsible for spreading viruses? In the previous video series, Lockdown Effects on Animals, we received a lot of comments revolving just around the bats. Some were cursing the bats for spreading the coronavirus, while some nature and animal lovers thanked the bats. And a few even called the bat a messiah or the savior of the animal world. This video analyzes the role of bats in spreading zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic meaning diseases that can be transmitted from animals to people, or more specifically, a disease that normally exists in animals but that can infect humans. In the year 1997, clouds of smoke hung over the rainforests of Indonesia as an area roughly the size of 120,000 square kilometers was burned to make way for agriculture. The fires exacerbated by drought. Smothered in haze, the trees couldn't produce fruit, leaving resident fruit bats with no other options than to fly elsewhere in search of food, carrying with them a deadly disease. Not long after the bats settled on trees in Malaysian orchards, pigs around them started to fall sick, presumably after eating fallen fruit the bats had nibbled on, as did local pig farmers. By 1999, 265 people had developed a severe brain inflammation and 105 had died. It was the first known emergence of nymphavirus in people, which had since caused a string of recurrent outbreaks across Southeast and South Asian countries from time to time. But before moving ahead, I would like to pause and think. Did the bats invite humans to come and destroy their habitat? Obviously not. Since humans started cutting down forests, they have destroyed about 50% of the forest. If we don't slow down, all the forests will be gone by the year 2100. Not too far, isn't it? From 2001 to 2018, a total of 3,610,000 square kilometers of tree cover have been lost globally. That's way larger than land area of India. To give you an estimate, about 36 football fields worth of trees are lost every minute due to deforestation, usually for and by humans. Now, coming back to the bats. Bats are the only mammals that can fly and therefore can spread in large numbers from one community over a wide area. This means that they are capable of harboring a large number of pathogens or diseases. Flying also requires a tremendous amount of activity for bats, which has caused their immune system to become very specialized. Andrew Cunningham, professor of wildlife epidemiology at the Zoology Society of London explains that the pathogens that have evolved in bats have evolved to withstand these peaks of body temperature. When a bat is stressed by being hunted or having its habitat damaged by deforestation, its immune system is challenged and it finds it harder to cope with pathogens. We believe that the impact of stress on bats would be very much as it would be on people. In the likely epicenter of the virus, the so-called wet markets of Wuhan, China, where different wild animals are held captive together and sold as delicacies or pets, a terrifying mix of viruses and species can occur. If they are being shipped or held in markets in close proximity to each other or humans or animals, said Cunningham, then there is a chance those viruses are being shed in large numbers. He said the other animals in a market like that are also more vulnerable to infection as they too are stressed. According to the UNDP, the spread of a zoonotic disease can be directly attributed to the overexploitation of biodiversity and ecosystems by human activities. The UNDP has said that several zoonotic diseases have affected human beings because of increased contact of humans with animals. Especially wild animals, which result in these diseases, jump from animals to human beings. 
Once human beings contract the virus, they are able to spread to other human beings. The UNDP report even says that it is not just COVID-19, but even tuberculosis, rabies, malaria, toxoplasmosis, H1N, 1 SARS, BERS, Ebola, Zika, etc. All are examples of zoonotic diseases that have jumped from animals to human beings. And in each case, the source can be attributed to destruction of environment and biodiversity. When this is coupled with fast moving people between cities, countries and continents, the transmission rate and risk of diseases can become very high.